And this is The Upper Room with Joe Kelly right here on WVOF in Fairfield, Connecticut. Mondays, 4 to 8. And as you're probably well aware, for the month of March, we've been featuring the music from the Twin Cities, Minneapolis, St. Paul. And we just listened to a song from one of the great musicians out of there, Walter Chancellor Jr. from his CD called Saxophone Man. And the song's called Vibe to This which was produced by Kirk Johnson and also released on his independent record label, Kitchen Records. And, you know, we're in for a real treat because this is the second time he stopped by the show. Producer, percussionist, vocalist, all-around musician. His name is Kirk Johnson, and we welcome him again to the Upper Room. How you doing, Kirk? The Upper Room. What's going on, man? Oh, d- doing fine. And uh, what, what's it like? I, I know you've been working... In the studio, you got you even got some music in the background, right? Oh yeah, just, just check it out for me. Help. Oh, uh. uh. always getting funky in the kitchen, Ooh, man. Wow, that's that's, that, a, that's yeah. me and that's me and Chance Howard right there. Yeah, you know, I spoke with him today. And he's coming on the show a little later on tonight, and yeah. and he said you, Saturday you guys were working up some stuff in the kitchen, right? Oh yeah, we was down in the kitchen just brewing it up as usual. Uh huh. You know, me and him been playing live for the last year down at Jasmine's every Wednesday night uh, with the band called Conversation Piece we uh, put together uh, with me and him, Walter Chancellor, Ty Burrell on keys, and George Scott on guitar. And we always have, you know, vocalists come down and sit in. But we've been having a ball, and every, every, every night we make up a new groove, so now we're just going to start recording them and uh, just start putting them on out. Oh, you can you can record the Jasmine's performances. Oh yeah, we've, oh, we've been we've be been nice. we've been doing it live, um, straight to disc. But a lot of those performances haven't been coming out like we want them to. So we're just gonna keep on doing them, and uh, eventually we'll we'll piece it all together and do a live one. Then we'll do a studio one also. So so when you're recording live and and you said things don't necessarily come out perfect the way you want, what what would be some of the things that need to be well, fixed up? Well, you know, sometimes it's technical. Sometimes it's just performance. Uh-huh. You know, you go back home, you listen to it, and it's just unnecessary things that don't click. <laughs> right, right. So you're like, we ain't putting that out. Right. But uh, we, we're we we're getting it together. We're getting it together. So, you know, we should uh, talk about conversation piece because uh, our listeners out there, if they want to head on over to Jasmine's to see you play live, talk about some of the guys in the band and, and, and the venue and what, what time and, and, and place. Uh, like I said, it's... Uh, me on drums, uh, Chance Howard on bass and vocals. Chance, you know, is in the time. Right. And uh, we have also, also on sax and vocals, Walter Chancellor and uh, Todd Burrell on keyboards. And um, just another great guitar player. His name is George Scott on guitar. No relation to Mike? No relation to Mike, but they're both just as funky. Uh-huh. We're down there every, every single Wednesday. Um, from 9.30 to 1, and uh, we play a little jazz, lots of R&B, and lots of funk. So, And uh, the nice thing about that venue is it has good food, good atmosphere, and we're able to play what we want, you know, which right. is very rare being in Minnesota, you know, for an all-black band, let me tell you. Uh, oh, they don't they don't give you a, a, a sound, uh, excuse me, uh, uh, like a set list and say you got to no, play we, this, right? That's I mean, cool. what we want to do and, right. and, and being able to be... be Somewhere every Wednesday is a, is a blessing. Mm-hmm. Every you know, one day of the week. So it's a blessing, man. And uh, we're having a lot of fun. You know, we're starting to get a nice little following coming down there, hanging out. So folks want to come down there and check it out because it gets pretty funky sometimes. A lot of times, Prince will come down there and sit in with us, hang out with us, and that's that's real cool. And, and when you have Prince sit in with you and, and step on the stage, any instructions you give them or let them? He just come, he just, when it's funky, you right, know, right. He just, it, it leads him to the stage. Right. You know, if, it's, if it's working, you know, he's going to come in. If it ain't working, he'll just sit on back. Right. <laughs> Be- because, <laughs> because for the past few weeks, we've had musicians come on, and I, I, no joke, like three or four of them are just saying, yeah, you got to check out Jasmine's, and they mention you guys out there. And, um, you know, that's got to be a great tribute to how talented you guys have been going. Yeah, we yeah. we really appreciate it. We let folks come in and, and do their thing, too. You know, we just try to have it, make it fun for musicians and for, you know, everybody else. Just come on down and listen to, hear music that's not played by most of the bands around that, you know, you don't even hear on the radio, you don't hear anywhere. You know, it's a lot of the older stuff that's just 
straight, live, and funky, you know. It's not all processed. <laughs> so, I mean, you, you've toured, you know, big stadiums um, with Prince and the MPG and, and all the different groups you've been in. Um, going back to a smaller set, um, what, what goes through your mind, and, and do you enjoy it? On a even more so. Even, even more so, yeah. Even more so because, for one, I'm doing what I want to do. Mm-hmm. That's a blessing in itself. Whether it's a big stage or on a small stage, I'm, I'm, I'm playing drums, and you know, for if there's two or three people that really appreciate what you do, it's, it's a good feeling. Let me tell you. Right. I mean, when you're in such a on such a big in a big stadium, it's just a a, a sea of people. It's like a like water, you know. But when you're close and intimate, and it's nice small setting, people are dancing, having fun. That's when it really feels good, you know. Especially when you're doing what you want to do and what you created. You know, it doesn't matter if it's, you know, real big or real small. It's it's all in the music itself and performing. Well, I wanted to talk a little bit about your your drum setup and and what you've you've added and maybe some of the stuff you were working in the past. Uh, when, when you were working at Paisley Park on tour, what what kind of drum setup and things for the song live were you working with? Um, in the beginning, I kind of started out with a kind of electronic. I was using the Roland um, V drums. But a live kick and a live snare, I had those as toms and some samples. And then kind of got out of that, and now I'm using a, a Pearl Master Custom. I've kind of been with them since day one, mm-hmm. and, uh, which is, um, let's see, I use an 8, 10, 12 rack tom, 16-inch floor tom, 22-inch bass. And I switch back and forth between a 13 inch snare and a 14 inch snare and then all Pisces simples okay so it's uh and that's what i'm using now i got a, a another set that i use which is kind of a all maple uh drum set which is i just use the eight and the 10 inch tom and the 16 inch floor with the 22 and a uh free floating snare 14 inch snare which is really cracking yeah and what what um also, you have your own home studio, Kitchen Records, which uh, you've been really busy. I mean, I got, I got to say on there, I got to give special thanks to Mona, who's, oh, yeah. been, who's been really working hard for everybody. And She's been a- really helpful, you know, Mona, which is my sister, and we just finished her record, her and her husband, Tim Moore, and, uh, which is Heart, Mind, and Soul. Which yeah, he's going to be on next week. Yeah, you guys yeah. can check that record out. So, got it right real here. inspirational yep. um, mm-hmm. Record, New dance pop. record, and um, we did that here, here just recently, last couple of weeks, and we're working on a new one actually, um, which will be out pretty soon. And you can always go to kaj.us, kaj.us to check out anything new. Yeah, and you got kind of, yeah, just online kind of put, ordering. Yeah, just kind of put that site up. It's really in in construction right now, but I want to put something up so people can you know get back to you know getting my music I, I i had a lot of stuff on kitchen records and funkyballheads.com but i took it down after a while just to kind of you know rehab and change stuff around and but funky ball heads still available for order yep yeah okay you cool. can always go to kaj.com now but since you know everything is basically coming you know from here from kitchen records i just wanted to make one site which is just my initials dot us sorry kaj.us and everything will be under there from you know all the new music where I'll be playing at, you know, who I'm playing with. And I also, um, the last couple of years, have kind of, you know, got real deep into, you know, just fitness. So I have my own company called Power Fitness also. And uh, I teach and, and teach my own class called Kirk's Power Hour, which is cardio boxing, strength training. People can go and sign up and, and go People for that? People can sign yeah. up because I'm, you know, a certified personal trainer in, in, uh, in um, uh, group fitness, you know, trainer now too so mm-hmm. you know just to keep myself in shape and you know help others kind of keep in shape and yeah because you last time i had you on you were talking about that you yeah were, i kind of just you yeah. know went on in and took took a little time to where i you know i got off the road and you know some some friends and family members that really got sick and it just kind of woke me up saying you know you got to take care of yourself and mm-hmm. try to help others get in shape so you know what better than to go get certified to know exactly how to do things and you know, I got little little kids that I want to try to be, you know, healthy to be able to run and play with them too. So, so I use my music in both realms and in, in, in my uh, fitness and you know playing live. So it's, it's a 
good things. So you can always go to KAJ.us and check out see what's going down. Right, yeah, and you listen to the interview right now, you can go to KAJ.us and, and get the credit card to put in the orders, and they'll get it right out to you. There so, you, you know, speaking of uh, one, of the, one of the projects on Kitchen Records, Funky Bald Heads, and uh, let's see, we're going we're gonna to visit that record. It came out uh, about a year and a half, two years ago, right? Yep. And we'll go off with uh, the title track. Oh, actually, we'll go out with uh, Funky Laika. Yeah. And uh, this one smokes. Uh, we'll go with the remix. Go with the remix. All right. We'll come back and talk with Kirk Johnson. Yeah. Another great project produced by my special guest this afternoon, Kirk Johnson. And how's the, the Kitchen Records roster? You got a lot of folks on there. You want to talk about some, Kirk? Yeah, man. Um, I just finished uh, uh, my sister. Mona, um, his record, Heart, Mind, and Soul. Before that, my other sister, uh, Mocha, Yeah, Yeah, which is a, a record that's not on Kitchen Records, but I did the whole, you know, the whole project will, right. will, will be available. Um, but she a, she lives down south, right? She's she's in Minneapolis. but oh, she's okay. doing a she's doing a small um, promotional tour down south right now. Oh, okay. Kind of promote her record, and you know, I have three sisters, so. I told them all I'd finish a record on them, and then that's it. Uh, <laughs> so I did them in a, uh, Kathleen, which is a best-kept secret, right. which involves her and Mocha, which is Kim. Um, we just finished another record on them, which is Roots and Influences, which is kind of some of the cover stuff that they like um, to sing live. Uh, and they did uh, one of the celebrations uh, two years ago. That people really liked Best Kept Secret played that. Right up at Paisley Park. At Paisley right? Park. Yeah. And then also, um, I just finished a uh, gospel jazz record, which is called 4TL, which was released in all the Target stores, um, which is kind of a, just a jazz gospel record. Mm -hmm. Of course, then we have, you know, um, both Funky Ball Hit Records, which is the bootleg record, and then the self-titled record. Um, and then we had Troy Williams, which is another kind of an inspirational gospel record, a horn player here in town. Yeah, got some deep lyrics on there, yeah. Yeah. Right. And then, uh, of course, Walter Chancellor's record we had finished, you know, a couple years ago, and then uh, both TKO records. And I also did this um, this other gospel uh, South African group called Ambition. Mm-hmm. Um, they just went, I did that this summer, and they just went back to Africa, and their, their record is like in the top in you know in africa right now Ooh. which is really cool and i yeah. think you can go to ambition slash sa.com their record is like really cool man he's real talented like they're like a young take six okay but they all play right right you know and the keyboard player i would always play with michael jackson when michael would go over to south africa uh-huh young guy like 27 years old you know but yeah, man, just a lot of music, man, and, and now just, um, you know, I took a little break for a while, and I've been on the road with uh, this piano player, her name is Lori Line. Okay. Real popular piano player from Minnesota. I went on the road with her through, uh, through November, December. I go back out with her. I've been playing a lot lately. I go back out with her for like two weeks in uh, April and then August. I've been, you know, really just playing a little bit more than being in the studio, but when I'm home, I'm just trying to finish as much music as I can. And how about for the conversation piece? You guys get a, get a bunch of time to rehearse? Uh, yeah, we, we actually try to rehearse every Monday. Oh, okay, tonight. You know, right? We try to yeah. keep that thing fresh, or every other Monday, so we can kind of keep our thing fresh and tight down uh, at Jasmine's. Mm -hmm. And, you know, we'll be working on that record also. So either that's, either that's going to be live, you know, straight from the board, or we might just do some stuff from the studio. And, and you'll you'll be able to you know like I said everybody will be able to go right to kaj.us and just get the update you know on what's going on you know with me and my music I really appreciate the folks out there supporting what I do and I really appreciate what you've done for you know folks here in Minneapolis man because there ain't too much outlet for radio for us right right especially independents you know so you know being heard by anybody is a, a blessing so I appreciate what you're doing you know, oh yeah for everybody I, here in Minneapolis. Oh, thanks, Kirk. I appreciate, you know, all the kind words and plus the music, you know. Yeah, Kitchen Records, wow. I got a stack of your stuff. Yeah, we yeah, try to send it right. all, man. I mean, I, right. you know, anybody who's going to support, I don't care who it is, man. And just, right. You know, when you get 
folks like that, you just, just try to give them what you can and, you know, keep your thing rolling. So, so, so what do you, th- I mean, you talk, you know, I, I could say the same thing about Connecticut here is that it's, you know, tough to support local musicians that, you know, that's what we try to do uh, year round. But what, what, what do you think needs to be changed or, you know, do you think you see any well, hope for it? I mean, the club owners need to let folks in. Right, right. <laughs> <laughs> it's up to them. Let folks in and, and pay us, man. Shoot. Right. You know, I mean, I understand that, you know, radio dictates what's going on these days, and, you know, that goes to, to labels. The labels, major labels, you know, give the radio stations, you know, this kind of same thing, give you the same kind of music. I mean, that's what, you know, the kids want to hear, but there's a whole group of people, you know, 25, 30 and over, they ain't got nowhere to go. Right, right. Nothing to do, you know, because the club owners just want to keep, you know, getting that same thing and getting that riffraff in there. Yeah. And I'm not against it. I like a lot of the stuff that's out there. You know, I'm mm-hmm. not against it, but it'd be nice to go and hear some, you know, new new musicians, you know, playing some good music. And uh, you still occasionally run with uh, the Paisley Park crew. I know. I know you did the Jay Leno performance with Prince. Oh yeah, still, yeah. still over there. Still got, you know, it's just actually was over there, not a couple of days ago, just laying down some drum tracks for a new thing. Mm-hmm. He's doing always program stuff for him. So he's always busy, always cooking up some new things over there. Well, I heard some. I heard some things over there. It's just like. Whew. Yeah, I think it's good. You know, I love to see him live, Prince, but. Just, uh, just know he's back in the studio, still working, you know, those long hours. That, that's that well, got to be exciting for what's going to come out. Yeah, it's, yeah. got some real exciting things coming. So, y'all, be ready for that. Right. I mean, as usual, you know, he's got some nice stuff coming out. Right. So you know, We're always looking for that outlet, man, that right outlet. Mm-hmm. You know, as long as we have folks like you helping us out, man, it's going to be a beautiful thing, you know. Yeah. And it's going to change. That's right. And uh, when, when when they come to jump back out on the bandwagon, we'll, we'll, we'll give them a little seat, maybe. Yeah, you know, yeah. give them a little something, you know. <laughs> right. <laughs> <laughs> we'll, let, we'll let them take the ride. You know? Yeah. Help them out a little bit. So uh, the Minneapolis music scene, um, it, just talk briefly about, you know, you growing up, you, you grew up in Minnesota. Yep. And the musicians from way back that people haven't heard from a long time, um uh, did some of them just drop out of music or some well, I mean, you know, different they, areas? They, yeah, because, you know, they didn't have anywhere to play. Right. And if they weren't really, you know, if their hearts weren't really into it, you know, who knows where they ended up. Mm-hmm. But, you know, the folks that, you know, was really committed to honing in on their craft and really wanting to do something, they're still playing. You know, there's a, it's actually getting better around here. There's starting to be a little more clubs that are, you know, realizing that, People want to hear, you know, live music. And I think some of the club owners are, are, you know, changing. So they're becoming a little bit younger to, you know, our age group. And so they're letting folks back in to play. Right, right. Because the music that they're playing is just so kiddie. And they don't want the the kids coming in there because most of them don't know how to act. So they're getting back to where they, you know, have folks in there playing and bringing the right crowd into their clubs these days. So... It's getting a little better, you know. There's always a lot of great musicians around here, but the problem, like I said, is just there's nowhere to play. How, how about as a producer? And uh, can you talk a little bit about your style as a producer and, and uh, you know, that you took maybe from some producers? Have, have you taken a little bit from some people you work with before? Well, I mean, I'm, I've been greatly influenced by being around Prince because just he's always been so, you know, versatile and just funky, you know, so that's, that's just where I live, you mm-hmm. know. But I've just always, you know, I was never trained. I just trained myself, you know. So I just play whatever I feel, what I hear. You know, I just sit down and just come out with the drum beat first, of course. And then, you know, find the, the best musicians I can to collaborate with. Because that's really what it's about, is bringing other folks in on what you're doing. Because, you know, I don't know everything. If you get the right folks like me and Chance working together, I'd never be able to play the bass like that. Right. So, you know, just do my thing, let him do his thing, and bring the other people in and, you know, just cook it on up. Yeah. Wow, well, that little snippet you played in the beginning, whoo, that, yeah. that, that sounded incredible. So, yeah, you know. so I mean, that's, that's really the idea is, is musicians working together, mm-hmm. you know, and coming up with stuff. 
That's cool, you know, because everybody, I mean, technology allows you to do it all yourself these days, but, you know, when you when you get the right few folks together and make it simple, right, right. that's all you need. You yeah. know, everybody stop being so greedy. That's right. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, because they'd be greedy, they'll be just left outside. And not, well, it's, yeah. it's, they're limited. Then. Right. It's just like the same old stuff. Like uh-huh. they listen to the radio, I'm going to do something like that, mm-hmm. put a loop together and, you know, they're out. Right. But like I said, it's all good. You know, a lot of them folks are getting paid. So, so uh, all the groups that uh, Kirk Johnson has produced and worked with on Kitchen Records, uh, our listeners can go to the website kaj.us. Yep. And uh, easy order form right there, and you know you can get it get it in your homes very shortly. And uh, man, I want to thank you again, Kirk, for, thank for you, stopping man. by. And you know. I got to make it out there. I'm gonna, G and I are gonna come up and do do a come on out, man. It's like there. it's like a 40, 50 degrees now. Sun's out. You know, it's not yeah. too cold. So come out here before it gets cold again. That's right. Yeah. Well, we got sixty five today. People are wearing shorts. So what? It's crazy. <laughs> <laughs> no, but no, know. it's been nice. I mean, we're blessed. Like a week ago, it was ten below. So. Right. Yeah. <laughs> Go figure that. So, so you guys rehearse tonight. What are you guys gonna work on? Um. You know. Uh. I'm not really sure. We're just going to tighten some stuff up. Uh huh. Um, listen to some more older stuff. You know, put some more things into the set. You know, just kind of see what we come up with. Mm-hmm. You got to come see. I ain't going to tell nobody. You got to come down here and check it out. Yeah, Jasmine's and Jasmine's at one two three Third Street, right around the corner from the Fine Line, okay. downtown Minneapolis. Come on down Wednesday night. We're there. Yeah, and you guys have been been recording the performances for possible live. Yeah, we're recording so, yeah. live, so we're gonna put a, you know put that together. That'll be available soon too on the website. So be watching out for that. So why don't we get into a, a recent production? Just came out, new Christian power music featuring Timothy D. Moore, and yep. your sister Mona's on this as well. Um, Heart, mind, and soul. Let's see. I got queued up. Trust in Him. Okay. So uh, this is also available at kaj.us. So, yes. So Take thanks, Kirk. I really appreciate it. Appreciate you, man. Yeah. And I uh, hope to see you this summer. I've got to make it up there. Come on out. Yeah. Man.